Dr. Sharon Schutz, and I'm sitting here with Dr. John Kaufman, our, our school superintendent, and we're going to be discussing so school security because that's a very important issue in our nation right now. And the school has taken major steps, the community has taken major steps to provide security and safety for our children. And I wanted to talk to you about a little bit of that, where I know that we're going to be starting a police department. Uh, you're putting a, um, information out, want, looking for a police chief. And can you tell me, first of all, tell me about the, uh, the school um, uh, police department and what that's going to involve in, in the process that you're going through. You know, first and foremost, I want to say that, that, that Trinity ISD uh, and our board recognizes that security has to be paramount to us, mm -hmm. uh, and it is. Uh, and, and I appreciate the board for the commitment that they uh, allowed me to, to uh, get a police department, to establish our Trinity ISD police department, and to really ramp up our security. Uh, I, I appreciate that. But a little about the, uh, the police department, the Trinity ISD police department, and what we're uh, going to do. Uh, first and foremost, we, have, uh, we had to apply uh, to T. Cole to get an application and get a paperwork process started, and we've already done that, and we already have uh, a list of things that we have to do. One of the first things we need to do is hire a police chief, uh, and we're in the process of doing that. It's, it's uh, been out about a week mm -hmm. uh, to a week and a half, uh, uh, and, and we have quite a few applicants that have already applied. Uh, Every applicant that we have uh, is high quality. Right. I mean, uh, it's it's going to be an extremely difficult decision to uh, to, to pick our police chief. Uh, my goal is to have a police chief uh, on staff as soon as possible because there are a lot of things that the chief is going to have to do. Mm -hmm. uh, one in particular, the chief is going to have to hire two deputies or two officers to 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 be part of this police force. Uh, the board has authorized uh, uh, an initial um, manning of three people, the chief and two officers. Ultimately, my goal is to have three or four officers uh, plus the chief. So uh, that, that we're, we're budgeting and planning for that down the road. But some of the things that uh, uh, the chief is going to have to do is, is we have vehicles that we're going to have to purchase the signage. We've got to. He's going to have to determine what we need: uniforms, mm -hmm. uh, body cams, what kind of body cams, things like that. Uh, uh, policies and procedures that are going to have to be established. Uh, we're starting a police department from scratch, right. so uh, I'm going to rely a, a, a lot on 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 the uh, police chief to get a lot of this going. Right. Um, the responsibilities of the Trinity ISD. Police department are going to be just, uh, just like any other police department. They're going to police the school district. Mm -hmm. They're going to keep the kids safe. They're going to, uh, uh, if we have some issues with uh, uh, that need to be handled with, with, with let's say, a stolen phone, uh, they're going to take care of that. They're going to do the investigation. They're going to, they're going to do whatever they need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, uh, developing a Trinity ISD. Police Department is going to allow those officers who are there every single day to develop a relationship again with these kids. Right. Once you develop a relationship with these kids, there's a trust factor that goes along with that. Uh, so I feel that uh, uh, with the development of that trust factor, we'll have issues that uh, uh, that will be resolved uh, that happen in the school. But I also feel that there's going to be issues that, that uh, they'll resolve, that uh, maybe some things have happened downtown. Sure. Uh, I want to get, uh, I want to have a working relationship with both the, the city and the sheriff's department. Um, even though we're three separate entities, mm -hmm. uh, we, we're, we're going to work together and I feel very confident that both of them will be supportive right. of, 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 the, of, of our police department. I know they will be. Well, um, I know that will also take, uh, take a little pressure off of the Sheriff's Department and the, the local police department because, you know, when something's going on, then, then there's somebody to handle it and Absolutely. they don't have to. Absolutely. However, I know that they're there available when they're needed. Yeah, and that's the, and, and I think that's what I want to <coughs> stress and that's what I stress to several of the of the applicants that I've already talked to, they've, they've stopped by, that, that we are going to have a, a working relationship with the right. city and the police and uh, I want us to take care of our business 
but if we feel that we need to uh, call someone else in that we feel comfortable enough right. that we can call either the sh police department or the sheriff's department in and ask for their assistance. Right. Um, and, and I feel confident that that's going to happen. Now let's talk about the arming of teachers. Uh, well, it's the arming of staff. Okay, staff, not teachers. Yes. Okay, okay, that's... Uh, I mean, staff I, is a broader... I, I understand and I stand corrected on that. Uh, so you're going to be training, have the, the staff is going to be trained. Uh, people are, you know, concerned. Uh, not, I'm not saying so much here in Trinity. I'm, the majority of Trinity wants this. Yeah. Uh, I hear some feedback that's not positive, but the majority of Trinity wants this and, uh, and are excited about it. But there's always going to be those that, that look at it and go, you know, I'm a teacher. Uh, I work at the school. I'm a staff member. Um, I don't have time to deal with these issues. And one of the things, one of my best friends is a teacher and has been for many years, and, and she put a thing on Facebook, uh, you know, uh, with all the test and the study and all this stuff that I have to do, you know, and now you're asking me to carry a gun. And I explained to her, uh, no, nobody's asking a teacher to carry a gun. There's teachers in every school that have CHL license, and they would be glad to do so. Absolutely. And so you're not, you know, asking something of people who are not willing or able but how do, how do you guys plan to do the training? What kind of training are we talking about with these staff members? You know, and, and let me address your, your, your first couple points. You're exactly right when you said that uh, uh, staff members uh, have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and they do. They right. have a whole bunch to do. And we are not, we will not uh, say you are carrying a weapon. Uh, the process is, first and foremost, uh, you approach the individual and do you feel comfortable mm -hmm. carrying a weapon and if they don't that's fine absolutely that, there is no issue at all with that not a problem because I understand not everyone wants to do it sure uh, but there'll be those that that will that will do it and we're not going to approach every I'm not going to approach every teacher or every staff member right. uh, it, they're going to be a strategically placed mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, I'm going to strategically ask individuals or do you feel comfortable uh, if, if, if you were to be armed and if they say yes then we go to the next step which mm -hmm. you know do you have a concealed hand uh, license and if, if you do great if not then maybe you want to go to some classes mm -hmm. uh, then we go to the next step there'll be a psychological that they have to take uh, and they meet the requirements of that then there'll be training that they have to take now the training it can be done by any number of sources it can be done through the police department, it could be done through the, the city police department, the sheriff's department, or it could be done from an outside organization. Mm -hmm. uh, we have those options to use, right. but they're going to be they're going to be properly vetted and they're going to be properly trained before they even attempt mm -hmm. to have a, a, a weapon in school. Now, there's some specifics that we we still need to talk about. Uh, you know, are they going to carry it on on their their person, or are they going to have it in a lockbox? Uh, there are things that we're going to have to uh, discuss and see how we want to do it. Right. Uh, so, first and foremost, <coughs> every teacher in Trinity ISD is not going to be armed. Right. Uh, every staff member in Trinity ISD is not going to be armed. It's going to be a very select group, uh, strategically placed, and they're going to have to be willing to do it. Uh, and if they're not, that is not a problem at all. I respect that and I honor Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, and then they'll be back. our children our children need protection and and I as uh, I know that the beta club and I want to ask about the beta club uh, I know that the middle school beta club worked to to buy these uh, the, the locks that go on the yeah. door handles yeah. uh, are those going to be installed and have they been bought and what's the you know we came up with a uh, uh, there was a little hiccup in that um, mm these locks that they bought that, or that they wanted to buy for the door uh, required the door to be open from the inside, uh, open to the inside. Right. Yeah, that um, would make sense. Which would make a whole bunch of sense. Uh, the majority of our doors open to the outside, mm -hmm. which uh, uh, makes it right. not really feasible for, for that type of lock. They did offer us to say use it for any type of security measures that you feel we could use. So we're going to come up with something with their approval. We're going to go right. to the better. Okay, better I was wondering about that because um, 
And I've seen some other things that they slide under the door, but it would be the same thing. It would have to swing in Absolutely. to be effective yeah. because if you pull it out, it's not going to it's not going to make yeah. a big difference. And I want to say just one other thing. I I understand uh, arming staff members is a controversial mm -hmm. uh, issue. Uh, you know, we have people for it. We have people against it, and and I respect everyone's opinion. I understand it completely. Absolutely. Uh, but I think everyone will agree that security for our kids is, is, is of our utmost importance Absolutely. and we need to do anything that we can to keep our kids safe. I think that everyone agrees with that. Uh, how we do it, we may go about it different ways, but uh, right. uh, ultimately keeping our kids safe is, is our utmost priority and we're going to do it. We're going to do it whatever, any way that we feel is necessary to keep our kids safe. The other day when we did the walkthrough, uh, I think this is something that was very important. Um, you talked about having the windows, and I think that was an addition. Mm -hmm. uh, but each of the new classrooms, or most of them, only outside yes. of the buildings, has these huge double windows. Yes. And uh, when I saw those, my first thought was, that's awesome. Because if something happened and somebody did manage to get past the security, because, you know, there's no telling. It could happen. Absolutely. It's not likely, but it could. Uh, and, and those children are in that room and they're huddled down. You know, that it's, it's heartbreaking to hear of a bunch of children being huddled in a room and somebody out there shooting. These kids can pick up a chair, break a window, and get out. Now there's, there's opportunities there, yeah. And, and it also, again, adds some natural light to and, and, and just breaks up the wall. Uh, but yes, it, it, it's an added, an added safety feature that, mm -hmm. that I think uh, and we pray that we never have to right. use it but at least we know it's there and we can and, well and we so can many of our buildings it. so many of our schools are just brick solid walls and and there's no windows yeah. and maybe something at the top but you know like I think that was in the 60s and 70s they did that but anyway uh, I, I know that you guys are working I know that that uh, Sheriff Wallace that, that is a major priority for him yes. is getting these schools safe and uh, and I do have one more question are you gonna remove the sign that says that it's a gun free zone um, you know and, and we're in discussions about that and, and I'm gonna tell you why um, we've had discussions about putting up a, a sign that says this bill a warning this building is protected by armed uh, employees mm -hmm. Uh, and we'll use any force necessary to, to protect our students. Uh, I've seen those type of signs. Um, we've had some uh, questions about, well, is this inviting someone to say, uh, I'm going to see what this, you know, see if I can get through this. Uh, or where are, we, are, are we not putting anything up that, that, and, and just not advertising and letting everyone know? We're, we're, we're debating on that. But gun-free, yes, we're going to have to take that down because we... Right. You know, we're going to have an armed uh, ISD department and we'll, we'll have some armed staff members. Well, I'm just going to throw this in there from, you know, my perspective, and which doesn't amount to much, but um, mo most, if not all, of our shootings have been kids from the school who are mad, who are loners uh, and whatever, and and they're not going to challenge the, well, I you know, wonder if I can get past. You're gonna, that would have to be somebody from outside that, you know, that... Uh, that just right. decides to do something stupid, but uh, but I understand the different perspectives, and I understand the the I, I won't say dilemma, the, but the choices you have to make, and uh, I'm just encouraged that the sign will come down because you know it's just when people read that it's it, a gun-free zone to so many Americans, to so many people now is just an invitation yeah. to 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 challenge and Absolutely. to try. You know, and I'm glad you brought up something, uh, and this was something that I forgot to uh, uh, to mention, is, is having an ISD police department, having all of those safety measures in are, are just uh, some of the, the pieces of this big picture. Another piece of this picture is, is we have to re-educate uh, our teachers, mm -hmm. we have to re-educate our students, uh, we have to have them to be able to identify maybe those troubled kids. Right. Um, too many times through all these tragedies that have happened, there's been Facebook posts <laughs> that kids have seen uh, but didn't take it seriously. Uh, we are going to re-educate our kids 
to take that seriously, mm -hmm. to report it. Same thing with our teachers. We're looking at uh, intervention uh, through, through counseling. Uh, the specifics really haven't been worked out yet, but we are in discussion of, of, of having a, uh, you know, maybe an additional counselor or some type of mm -hmm. service available to maybe these kids who, who have been identified as maybe loners mm -hmm. or, 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 or maybe show tendencies of, uh, of maybe uh, you know, committing some type of, 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 of crime like that, uh, or, or even that have made Facebook posts that they have someone to talk to to try and uh, kind of stop it before it happens. So uh, I know the board is very big on that and, yes, and, and the prevention part of it. So I, uh, I think that's a very vital tool in this big picture mm -hmm. Uh, of keeping our kids and, and uh, uh, the school district safe. Thank you. I appreciate it. You have been such a, 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 a fount of information. And uh, I know that the people in, in Trinity, the people in the area want to know 